Electric cars are quick. Rearrange your internal organs quick. But seeing one accelerate quickly is like watching a thoroughbred stallion sprint in thick socks. It looks exciting, but it has one major buzzkill, the lack of noise. So what do car makers do to counter this? They start faking the funk. They simulate the sound and feel of a combustion engine complete with the shifting of gears, which is like the vehicular equivalent of lip syncing. Driving enthusiasts and car journals just love to scoff at it until they try it. Then they soften their stance and start seeing the point. It makes the car slower, since it simulates the power pause that you get when shifting up through the gears. But who cares if it makes you grin, right? Hyundai was the first to implement a stimulated engine with pretend gear shifts into its top tier performance EVs. Cars like the Ioniq 5N and now the new Ioniq 6N. And Kia has also now adopted it in its EV6 GT. Dodge makes its electric charger sing like a digital Hellcat, both inside and out. Well, clearly this thing isn't here to mess around. While the Abarth 500E howls like hot hatches of old, but without fake gears. This brings me to the most unhinged EV experience that I've had in a long time, a passenger ride in Mercedes AMG's new Taycan hunting missile, simply known by its code name, for now at least, the C590. So while in the Hyundai and Kia, the engine note is deliberately made to sound a bit artificial, like something out of a video game, the AMG is all about realism. Its mission isn't to just beat its Stuttgart rival for outright performance, which it might given that it has three electric motors, but it wants to convince your senses that there's an angry, naturally aspirated V8 under the hood, even though there's nothing there and it's fully electric. The C590 shotgun ride lasted for around 15 minutes, but I can wholeheartedly tell you that it completely fooled me. AMG doesn't just pump V8 noises through the speakers and call it a day. It went all out and added vibrations to really mimic the character of a combustion mill. I asked how they did it and they said magic. Translation, it's probably the same cheek churning technology that you get in an S-Class, which has resonators in the front seats that make you feel all of the low notes throughout your entire body. Blindfold me, drop me in this car and hit the go pedal and I would swear it's a V8. It really is that good. Have a listen for yourself. The camouflage prototype you see behind me previews the production version of the bonkers 1340 horsepower AMG GTXX tri-motor. It's very convincing. Yes. You, you feel the, the vibration of the engine, and when you downshift it, you also felt it in your back, like the vibration from yes. the uh, yeah. from the burbles of the exhaust. Yes. No, it's it's completely believable. It's uh, and there's definitely emotion there for sure. No. C590 accelerates, you don't just hear the bark of the V8, you genuinely feel it through your spine. When the driver lifts off, the simulated overrun crackle is also sent through the seat, adding to the theater. Say what you will about it, that it's unnecessary, that it's just plain gimmicky, but it works, and I kinda love it. Now for the fake gears, also freakishly believable. Clicking the right paddle on the steering wheel causes a brief pause in power delivery, akin to what you might feel in a snappy double clutch transmission. This faux DCT doesn't make the car any quicker, it probably has the opposite effect, but it definitely ups driver engagement. And that's the whole point. Of course, if all of this just makes you roll your eyes, you can drive the car as an EV with no speaker fakery. Twist the knob on the wheel and it goes silent. No drama, full stealth, and it's still face-meltingly quick. Arguably even quicker than with the fake V8 added. Before having this experience, I went from how good can it possibly be to where do I sign in the space of less than 15 minutes. And I'm not usually this swayed by something that sounds like a gimmick. AMG is doing this right and I can't wait to try it myself. Thanks for watching.